What is going on you guys? It's your girl Diana, back at you with another YouTube video. Excuse my voice, I am a little under the weather, but the Dragonite raids have been live for a couple of days, so today I'll be going over how you can solo the raids in case you don't have a group to take them down. So let's go ahead and hop into it. Bye. Bye. So per usual, before we hop into the actual solo strategy, let's take a peek at what you're going to be going up against once you actually hop into the raid. So Dragonite is of course going to be level 100 since this is a 7 star Terra raid and it's normally a dragon and flying type Pokemon, however it will have the normal Terra type for this raid. Very VGC centric of them. It is going to have the ability Inner Focus, which means that it can't be flinched and it's also not affected by Intimidate. Its main moveset is going to be Extreme Speed, Scale Shot, Dragon Dance, and Earthquake. How However, it does also have access to Rain Dance, Hurricane, Draco Meteor, and Thunder. So they really said, let's just make this a full-blown mixed attacker. The good news is, is that we're going to be using a Pokemon that I've used for multiple raids at this point, and I shared in my original counter video, which is Corviknight. You, of course, want your Corviknight to be level 100, and Corviknight is normally a flying and steel type Pokemon, and for this Terra raid, you do want it to have the fighting Terra type. For its held item, you are going to want to go ahead and give it the Shell Bell, just so that it can get HP recovery every time it uses a damage dealing move. And it is going to have the ability Mirror Armor, which means that if it gets any of its stats lowered, it actually bounces back those same negative effects to whatever Pokemon lowered its stats. EV spread is going to be full HP and full defense with a defense boosting nature. And your moveset is going to be Taunt, Rock Smash, Iron Defense, and Body Press. Taunt is going to prevent Dragonite from using Dragon Dance too many times because Dragonite with Dragon Dance is a little scary. Rock Smash is going to lower Dragonite's defense and it also does a little bit of damage. Iron Defense is going to boost your defense stat, which goes hand in hand with Body Press since Body Press uses your defense stat to calculate how much damage it does. But now that we know exactly what you're going to be going up against and what you're going to be bringing, let's go ahead and hop into the actual strat. So when you hop into the actual raid, the first thing that Dragonite's going to do is it's going to go ahead and use Rain Dance to set up the rain. This helps it with Hurricane as well as Thunder. We're going to go ahead, there's a Hurricane hitting us by the way. <laughs> if you do get confused by Hurricane, I recommend just restarting because you don't want to deal with confusion. But we're going to go ahead and use Taunt turn one just because as you can see it does want to set up dragon dances so we want to stop that from happening because the more that it sets up the more extreme speed earthquake things like that are going to hurt so now that we've got our taunt off we're gonna go ahead and go for an iron defense here just to boost our defense a little bit since it did obviously have the chance to set up a little bit as well we're gonna get hit by this extreme speed it doesn't do too terribly much which is great and here is our first iron defense after you set up your first iron defense, you're going to go ahead and rock smash for the next two turns just because you do want to lower its defense stat. We're getting hit by an extreme speed here and you'll see that it does a lot less now, even more, le even, even less than it did the first time. But here's our first rock smash. It is super effective, but like I said, you're not really doing it for the damage. It's more for the defense drop. And we did get a little bit of shell bell recovery as well. We're gonna get hit by a thunder. No, just kidding. We're not getting hit by a thunder. Belly Bolt did, so yay for Belly Bolt. Belly Bolt loves that. And here is our second Rock Smash. We are getting hit by this extreme speed, however, but like I said, after our iron defense, it doesn't really matter. It's literally doing three damage, so we are super fine. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set up Taunt once again, just because at this point, the Taunt has worn off and we want to prevent any more Dragon Dances, like I said. So now that we've taken care of all of that, it is going to go ahead and nullify any stat changes on our end. So we're going to go ahead and go for one body press here just so that we are able to terastalize after we finish setting up in a second. This body press is also going to do like 30 damage, so don't expect too much from it. <laughs> So now that we've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and set up Iron Defense for the next three turns. So here's Iron Defense number one. We are getting hit by an extreme speed, doesn't really do anything, even though we basically have to reset up, so we love that. And here's Iron Defense number two, getting hit by yet another extreme speed. It is gonna put up its shield this turn as well, which is fine. We are gonna terastalize after our third Iron Defense. It's also removing the negative effects from itself, so technically it did clear all of the defense drops, but it's okay. So here we are getting hit by another extreme speed, and here is the final iron defense. 
Now that we've got three iron defenses off, you are gonna wanna go for a singular defense cheer. It is gonna use a dragon dance, but since we've gotten so many iron defenses off plus a defense cheer, we are totally fine. And at this point, you're gonna wanna go ahead and terastalize and basically just spam body press for the rest of the raid. It's gonna use dragon dance one more time, but like I said, we've set up so much that we're perfectly fine. Corviknight is so bulky. And here's our first body press. And you'll see that it does a, a quite a bit of damage. And of course we are getting the HP recovery from our shell bell too, so we don't have to worry about HP either. But here is the next body press. Like I said, you're just gonna spam this for a while until the raid ends. You don't really have to do anything at this point. I would recommend using a PP up if you haven't. I did it and I literally went down to my final body press just because I had to get through the shield. But yeah, that's just a recommendation that I have. Also, if you do get hit by something like Thunder early on, I would recommend using like a heal cheer. And like I said, if you do get confused by Hurricane, I would just restart the run so that you don't have to deal with that. We're getting hit by an extreme speed here. It's totally fine. Here is another body press. Boom getting close to the end of the shield. And we're also back up to full HP. So like I said, you don't really have to worry about HP here. Here's another extreme speed. We take a bit of damage. It's still doing kind of a lot because it did get two dragon dances off, but like I said, we're fine. We're getting so much HP recovery back that we don't have to worry about it. This is gonna be the final body press that we need in order to take out its shield. Bro is over here spamming extreme speed, like it's choice ban Dragonite in a VGC battle, it's fine. I would rather that than like any of its other moves, honestly. And we've finally broken through the shield. Now that the shield is gone, these body presses are also gonna do a lot more damage. You'll see there that it did use Draco Meteor, but it's fine because it basically nerfed itself. It also got paralyzed, so we love that. And here is another body press. And obviously one more body press will get the job done. And it couldn't move because it was paralyzed. So we get one free turn of no damage. Not that it mattered because we're literally at full HP. But here we are. As you can see, I literally had like one left after this final body press. That's why I recommend using a PP up if you haven't so that you're not in my situation because like what if something had gone wrong and I needed more than what I had. But there you go, boom. You have now won against Terra Normal seven star Drag Knight. As for rewards, it does drop ability patches and proteins, as well as all of the other typical rewards, which is always nice. But there you have it. That is one of the easiest and most reliable ways that you can take down the seven star Dragonite raids. Per usual, leave a comment down below with what you used, as I'm sure people would love more options to solo the raid. But that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you found this video helpful, I kindly suggest you consider subscribing so that I can continue to make content for you guys. And if you were already subscribed and you would like another way to support the channel, feel free to check out the merch store. There is a link down below that takes you to not only my merch store, but also all of my other socials so you can keep up with what I'm doing on a daily basis. But thank you guys so much for watching and thank you to those of you who have joined the channel as members. I appreciate you all so much. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.